Welcome to another edition of Can I Beat the Pole App. We're going to start the car manually. And the RB20 is alive after many requests. You guys in the comments asking for me to run a more difficult car, a more of a challenge and a more realistic car. We are now using the Formula Alpha from VRC. So let's get into it and let's get today's episode underway. Guys, if you're going to enjoy also the updates, then like the video and subscribe and we are going to get into it. And we're going to try and beat Max Verstappen's pole out from qualifying. I will admit, very one-sided. Max looks untouchable around here, but nonetheless, we're going to try and have a go. A 1 minute 33.660 is the lap time to beat. So we are going to have a shot and see what we can do. Now, currently, we are leaving the pits on stock settings. I've done a little bit of testing to make sure everything works well. This car, compared to what I was running, is very towel happy. The back end gets very loose in low speed at the slightest bit of throttle input. So um, not going to be easy. Either way, we're going to try and get these tires warmed up, get comfortable, hopefully have a couple of laps to you know get comfortable with the car set some decent lap times and baselines and then we can start to dial it up and get this in the window i'm looking forward to it it's going to be a big challenge with this new car well new old car which you know has been around for a few months but using it for the first time in this series and we're going to see how it all shakes out so let's get into it let's get this underway we're going to get tires nice and warm here max is in a completely different planet this weekend so realistically if i you know got something worthy of p2 that wouldn't be a bad effort but yeah the, the one thing to watch out for for us with this car and this challenge is going to be the low speed stuff so we might struggle on these tires i'm fully expecting to spin but let's do a lap currently in baseline strap mode so we're going to make no changes i just want to see what we're looking at pace wise so here we go, towards turn one. Let the downforce work a little bit. Quite a bit wide there at the first apex. There's a lot of engine braking on this car, which I'm going to fix. I like a bit more rolling rather than coming to a complete standstill in the apex of the slow corners. Turn five. I put the brake brass right towards the front. Bit of a drift there trying to keep the backhand alive turn seven should be mostly flat just a slight little confidence lift through there turn eight to then open nine nine you have to be patient as you want to make sure you get a good run through ten we'll take a short shift just to be safe tires are still very cold and now into 11 and 12 the chicane which of course brings you into the Long banked corner. And easy does it. And now we take a breather. Down the back straight. A kilometre long. The RS open. And now we're going to approximately spot the 100 metre board. As our brake marker point for this one. Easy on the throttle on the way out. There we go. And then the final corner. Fourth gear. Try to attack the inside curb a little. Be careful with the gravel on exit. DRS open. And the first lap of the day is a 134.9. Not a bad start. That puts us only 1.3 away. And we're currently on mediums, the C3 tyre. So we're now going to switch to C4s on softs. And we're going to see what we can do pace-wise. Now, this car is extremely complex to set up, you know, to a level which I don't understand. So I'm just going to change those settings, which I think... I know about. One thing I've done is I've switched the aero kit. I've gone for the maximum downforce, but I've trimmed down the front and rear wing a little bit, but the general downforce package is high because besides the back straight, this track is full of corners, which you want to try and be good at. So we're going to see if that gives us a bit more of an edge. Also, there's eight different strap modes. All I know is that strap mode one is slowest, which we're in right now, and strap mode two is quickest. Our previous lap was set in strap mode three. So we're going to match that strap mode for now for this lap and we're going to see what we can do so more downfalls more wing i've reduced the ride heights 
and a few other little bits and pieces, little tweaks here and there. So let's see what we can do now. Also, of course, we've halved the fuel and we're now on a softer compound of tyres. So this should help us get a bit closer. Also, I've reduced the engine braking, but it still feels like we have quite a lot of it. So I need to look into that and do a bit of dabbling to find out what the best adjustment is. I did feel better though and quicker. Turn five. We've got to be easy on the throttle. The back end wants to get away every single time. Right, this should be flat now. Up by six tenths. In the first sector. Stay tight through there. Which opens up. Now the double lefts of nine and ten. No need for a short shift this time as we head down towards the chicane. Rear tyres getting a bit cold, gotta be careful as we change direction, car ripping up nicely. Traction down super early. And onto the back stretch, let's see what the sector split is here. They're not fully accurate to real life, but within this game, 1.1 seconds up. This could actually challenge Verstappen's 33.6. Great hairpin, good rotation. One corner to go. Oh, a little bit of gravel there as we run up to the line. 33.8. So we matched the final sector with that slight error, but we're already two tenths off. So the higher downforce package paying dividends. I reckon we can get it on the next lap. So let's dial it up and let's try and get a better lap on the board. Now, currently trying to get the tires a bit more in the temperature window before we start the lap. We are now gonna run the infamous Strat 2, which we know is qualifying mode. I've made a few adjustments, brake migration, fuel, few little bits and pieces, tire pressures. So we're gonna see if we can put it all together then. Let's get the engine mode on, there we go. Strat mode two. Clean start to the lap, please. Just like that. The RS open, lap underway, here we go. Down towards turn one. Let's try and carry some good speed, use the downfalls of the car. Now down the gears as we tighten up into turn two. Engine braking now turned down to one, which is the lowest setting possible. Out of turn three, power down nice and early there with a bit of a short shift, but we get the job done. Down towards turn five. Click the apex. Back end gets a little loose, but we Managed to actually make it work and control into a bit of a drift. Up to seventh now through here. As we go flat, three turns up in sector one. A little bit of wash through turn eight as we now head through nine and ten. I'm gonna take a short shift as strap mode two is quite aggressive on the anchors. Chicane, easy on the change of direction, on the throttle as well. Now we can go for it, flat out, just take a wider line so we can get the power down early and carry the speed. Now down the back straight, seven tenths up as we open DRS, this could be the lap. We know there's a bit of time at the final corner. Let's keep it tidy into the hairpin. Now the second briefly, easy on the throttle, back on. Beautiful, one corner to go. Off the gravel, and there we go, across the line. This should do it. 32, eight, and we've done it. Don't matter the car, mate. Don't matter. Job done. 32, eight. Let's run the replay, and let's enjoy that lap. Actually, before I say that, I reckon I can go quicker. Let me try one more time before we run the replay.
very nice. Really clean lap. Found a lot of time in that final sector. But there we go, 32.5. We put over a second of Verstappen's forehead around Shanghai. Now, run the replay. Now we're going to run you through the setup as always and kind of I'm going to try and remember what I've done because there's a lot more to unpack here than other mod cars I've used. So uh, C4 tyres in accordance to the compounds available in the real thing. I lowered the pressures on the front and the rear to get a bit more tyre temp throughout the lap. Fuel I was set to 6 litres so that's 2.4 laps so an out lap and a timed lap. I know the pressures in real life are like probably in the 20s but for this mod to extract the best performance this is what works best for this let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me run realistic pressures for the next one but either way electronics i set the strat to two and engine brake on the lowest to try and avoid having that dragging into the corners aero on for the high downforce kit which does actually change the look of the car and then i tweak the, the uh, front wing flap and also the rear wing gurney flap on the very lowest setting so if we switch to an off-board view just really quickly here you'll see um, I started off with the medium downforce kit and we then switched to high and then also the nose type. I mean, I went for one the whole time, but the gurney flap also does change. It's a little bit of trim on the rear wing. So um, there's that. We then go to brakes. I ran 60, 60 bias, a bit more frontward with migration lower to two. So that basically gives us a bit more consistency with the braking. Rest is default. Deployment straps default. Tuning default. Differential default. Um, I lowered the ride height on the front and the rear by one a piece on all four corners and then everything else I believe I left exactly the same. So yeah, set up. Either way guys, that is it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like the video and subscribe for more daily F1 content and more videos like this. And uh, let me know if you want to see me stick with this car for the next one. Maybe some adjustments I can make. Possibly track condition might have been set a bit too high. I had it on 98, which isn't, you know, maximum. I had it a bit lower than maximum. So uh, maybe I should have gone to like 96 or 95. Either way, um, comments down below, your thoughts down below, and I'll read them and see what you guys think. Either way, guys, hopefully the race is fun. Hopefully Max doesn't completely run away with it, but I fear he might. Either way, mods down below, guys, for the track and the car. A big shout out to the members. Check out the links down below along with the videos on screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, and it's goodbye from me.